Hi, welcome back to Vlogmas day four. I can't believe we're like, it's day four, right? December 4th. We're just plugging along into this beautiful, beautiful month of no, December, I was gonna say November. <laughs> this year has been flying by. Um, I had such a nice day today. It was a Saturday. Honestly, the best day I can think of in a while. It was really nice. So I was just gonna kind of do a story time, tell you guys about my day. I got a little bit of um, B-roll as, as they say in the biz, <laughs> um, but video for you guys throughout the day, but then I didn't really actively vlog. So I'll just story time it for you. But it was a really good day. So I, first of all, this was super special. I got to have lunch with my friend Pam. And you guys know I volunteer with Meals on Wheels and they have a program called Friendly Callers. And it's where you visit with or call a, an isolated senior who doesn't have companionship. And it's such a cool program. I absolutely love it. And so of course, during the whole pandemic, it's been all by phone. There's a lot of honking outside happening. <laughs> but it's been all by phone and um, we haven't been able to visit in person for, you know, to take care of the health of our seniors. But today, I got to have lunch with my friend Pam, who I've been talking to on the phone for so long. Um, and she's fabulous and we're all triple vax and I was super careful to, you know, not have any extra risk recently so we could be super safe to meet in person. It was so wonderful to meet her in person. Um, she's just fabulous. So we had lunch and Nate came, so Nate got to meet her too. And it was just so much fun. It was so special to get to meet. Um, and yeah, it felt really good. So I'm so glad we got to do that. I didn't take any photos or video from that because, I mean, I don't think Pam wants to be all over YouTube. She might, but I don't think so. Um, but that was just really special. And then after that, Nate and I ventured from the area where Pam lives into downtown LA where there was a vintage market and I was in heaven because it was put on by this typewriter guru, if you will, <laughs> that I met at Dapper Day. So Dapper Day is an event at Disneyland when everybody dresses like fabulous vintage styles and they have an expo with vendors from the past and it's just really fun. So I went to the typewriter booth there, of course, and they have a pink typewriter that I want so bad. And he didn't, he didn't sell it at Dapper Day, it was still there today. <sighs> but it was $360, I did not purchase this typewriter. But anyway, um, there was like a, a little vintage market that they put on and it was so much fun. There were vendors from all sorts of different things from like cards and stationery, tons of typewriters. Oh, we haven't even like done our orders of business yet. <laughs> Cozy drink tonight is a glass of wine. And we have our advent candle. Time to burn day four. Isn't this like such a lovely little tradition, you guys? I'm really enjoying my candle. Okay, so where was I? The Vintage Fest was amazing. There were so many cool booths. They had like photo setups and backdrops. Lots of different vendors selling cool antique things or homemade things. Tons of really cool homemade stuff. So. This was maybe my favorite thing. Look at this beautiful bookmark. Apparently there's such a thing as, I think it was the California Calligraphy Society. So cool, I didn't know that existed. And they were there making these free bookmarks. So nice. So she just asked my name and she just wrote it on this bookmark in the most beautiful handwriting I have ever seen. She had these gorgeous flourishes. And I just wanted to be best friends. I wanted to be best friends with everybody at this whole market. I was like, everybody here is amazing. And I will treasure this bookmark. That's so special. Another thing that was really cool was they had typewriters and then there were people writing you a free haiku. So sweet. It just spoke to my soul because I love haiku. I love poetry. But haiku is a really fun form of poetry. I've gone into this on my Instagram before that I think everybody should write haiku because it's like a really great little creative outlet. So if you don't know, it's like five syllables and then seven syllables and then five syllables. So this is what she wrote for me. <clears throat> Hue is feminine. Accents everything I wear. Pink embodies me. <laughs> Isn't that really cute? It was so fun to sit there while she just whipped up this haiku and ripped it off her typewriter and handed it to me. And how, do you, how does one get a job writing poetry for strangers because I'd really like to do that. <laughs> it was so cool. I mean, I guess it's volunteer work because it was free. 
Um, and then I didn't buy a typewriter, sadly. But I did get this really great book. It's like a little handbook for secretaries in the year of 1955. And this is like in really nice condition. I was very happy with this find. I haven't had a chance to look through this yet, but I'm hoping there might even be like a little beauty section because, you know, in those days, the lines were a bit blurred between work and a woman's role in the world. So I'm not commenting on that, but I'm just kind of interested to see what it has to say for, for secretaries. It talks about punctuation, very important. It talks about grammar and like how to use your typewriter. It talks about proper posture while you're sitting at your typewriter. So cool. I bet they have something about fingernails and protecting your manicure. How to improve your arm position. And then they have like examples of how to write a letter, like formatting. Can you imagine formatting all of this on a typewriter? Like just such a bygone era. Openings and closing. Oh, here's how to write a letter to the President of the United States. How to do corrections, how to fold a letter. This is such a gem. I'm so excited I found this. Telephone technique. How to answer the telephone properly. Talk in a quiet, well-modulated voice, speaking directly into the mouthpiece. Your lips should be one half inch to one inch from the transmitter. <laughs> Get out your rulers, ladies, and measure how far your lips are <laughs> from your telephone. That's so fantastic. Oh, I love, I love vintage books so much. This, I'm actually gonna probably learn a lot about this because I have typewriters and, you know, as a, you kinda just have to like guess at how these things work, but I'm gonna get some tips. So I was so thrilled to find that. And then there was a gift wrapping station that was so cute and I didn't have any gifts that needed wrapping, but they were selling little bundles. I'm all about wrapping gifts, you guys. Like I love wrapping gifts. And I saw the glimpse of this paper and I got so excited. So I bought the little bundle, and now I think this paper is too cute to use. Look at it. That's so fun. This looks like old toy advertisements. I mean, I kind of just want to frame this. Like, I just absolutely adore it. So that was a really fun find. And it also came with some ribbons and, like, gift tags and things in here. So... I was just very thrilled with my, my shopping experience. And of course, Nate, it was a perfect date. It was really fun to just explore the market with him. And look, what else do we do? We checked my PO box. You guys always really, really melt my heart with the mail that you send me. Really sweet things. I, I don't ever open mail like on camera. I prefer to send a handwritten thank you note and like keep things personal, but so sweet. I hope you guys all know how much you mean to me. And what else? Um, we had pizza. It was just like a really good day. I'm just very grateful for a good day. Okay, so now for our cozy update, here's the status of the embroidery. Uh, I filled in the first three days, and so today we're doing this cute little reindeer. I think I'm gonna go do this in the other room with Nate so we can hang out, but I will show you the progress tomorrow, and I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with my pink outlines. I think that's gonna be cute. I need to get this filled in soon so we can see how it's like taking shape and let's open our advents so we're up to day four on this gorgeous fabulous anthropology calendar i absolutely love this thing Ooh. oh it's that brand called fur and it is an all body wash Cleansing and balancing, is it an oil or is it, it's an oil. Lovely, I'm very excited to try this. I keep seeing ads for that brand. And then we also get a coffee or a tea. Absolutely enjoying this so much. Every morning I have my coffee from the night before. Oh, this will be so good. We have a chai black tea. And I have never tried making tea in my Keurig. I've done coffee and I've done hot cocoa. So that'll be so much fun. So yeah, that's, I guess that's kind of it for right now. I just wanted to make sure to update you guys and share some of those clips from today. I wish I could have literally taken you with me to the little marketplace and just our little adventures around town. I don't know, it was so much fun. But tomorrow, tomorrow I will vlog with you outside of the cozy corner. Not that there's anything wrong with the cozy corner because we love it. 
but I do want to get you guys out and about into the world a little bit and tomorrow we have a fun field trip hopefully that my darling husband has pioneered so you guys know how it turns out when he gets involved it's always very entertaining and I guess that's it for day four I'm gonna go do my embroidery and sip my little red wine and let my candle burn <laughs> and enjoy the rest of this night. And I just hope that you guys are too. I hope you're savoring the season. That's our theme. And I hope that you also had a really nice Saturday because it's good for the soul to have a good day. So that's what I'm wishing for you guys as always. And I love you. Thank you for joining. If you're new and you want to come along Vlogmas, we have another 20 days of this fabulousness. So hit subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.